In this video, I'd like to show you how to upload your papers to the Cengage MindTap Drafts space, and then how to complete peer responses in PeerMark. Your first step, of course, is to write your paper, format it as an MLA paper, and save it as a Word document. If you're working in OneDrive, be sure to download your file to your computer. Failure to do this will cause a blank file to be uploaded to MindTap. Once you know where your file is located on your machine, click on the link provided in your course to submit the draft of your paper. You can always find the link in the flow of your course by looking for the paper icon here. It'll be the link below it. Um, you can also always get to it from MindTap in the Drafts folder, and that looks like this. So here's your Drafts folder. Let me actually move this a little bit so you can see it. Um, and there's a link here. Either way, when you click on the link, you'll come to a screen that looks like this. All right, so once you're here, basically you click on Upload Submission to submit a paper. And you'll come to a screen like this. Um, from here, you are basically attaching the file just like you would to an email. You can create a title here for it if you want to, but you don't have to. Or you can just select a file to upload. I'm going to do that. I'm going to come in here to my uh, folder. I'll go to my Downloads folder because that's probably where it's likely to be and I have a draft here, I'm going to put it in. I'm logged in here as a student. So I open it, comes in, and then just click continue. And it's taking a while, I don't know why. All right, here we go. So now once we have it and all of these three have gone here, it's going to let you look at some things. It's going to let you look at sort of the first page of the document so you can verify that this is a document that's formatted correctly. Um, you can also click here to look at the full text of the document. It's not going to keep your formatting, but you can kind of scroll through it and make sure it has like a works cited page on the end if it's a research paper, something like that. This was a super long paper with a super long thing, but I check it here. Um, once I've verified that it's the correct file, I close this, I accept the submission, and I save it. And now I have a paper in here. <clears throat> now you're done for this module that you're in for the drafts um, until the next module, so um, in the flow of the course. So basically now that you've done this, you're good until the next module. When you go to the next module, which is the peer response module, basically you're going to come back to the same link that you used before. Um, I'm using it from module three here. You'll click on this link and it will take you back to this same space. And now what you're going to do for that part is go to the peer mark reviews spot. And this is how you'll do this. Um, now once you're in here, um, you can see the date and time that the reviews are due. You can see how many you have to do. Um, and you can have, there's some instructions here that will tell you about that. Now when you click on Write Reviews, you have two choices. You have Start a Review and you have Self Review. Start a Review will take you to a randomly selected paper um, from one of your classmates. I'm going to click on that one right now to show you how it looks. It's going to launch here. And now I see that I have this. Um, and basically what you do from here is you read through the whole paper and then you answer the questions in these boxes um, at at least the length specified. You can certainly do more. Um, as you do that, you'll see the progress bar go across here until you get to completed. You can also, as you're reading through the paper, if you want to point out, say that he needs to put a period after the parentheses, you can do that and then you just save it. So you click anywhere on the paper, you type them a little comment so you can see what they can see what you're talking about and then you can go on from there. As you type your things in here, um, I'm just typing some sort of random thing here um, and then I'll go to the next one and now you can see that <clears throat> the progress bar has moved a little bit. <clears throat> now you basically go through here and answer all the questions in these boxes at the link that's specified. If you need to leave at some point and come back, you click Save. This will save your paper um, where you were 
working on it and then when you come back to it later we get out of this again you see now it's down in a list here and you can see that you have a blue box here this box will turn green when you finish the reviews but if you need to leave and come back that's how you would do it and then just to come back later you just click edit this review and it will open this up for you just where you were now when you're done with the whole review you're going to click submit and you're going it will save it um, I'm going to go ahead and submit it anyway but you notice that it will flag you here if you're not really done with it yet um, I'm going to submit it anyway because this is an old class and then you return to the assignment inbox and now you can see that this one is um, green which means that the review is done when you've done all the reviews for that are assigned to you, you can start a new review at this point until you run out or you can do at the last yourself review um, You basically are doing the self-review the same way that you do your classmate reviews. And you should find this helpful for your revision plan, which is an assignment in the module after the peer responses. Um, basically, prior to and in addition to actually revising your paper, you'll write a one-page plan um, discussing your plan for improving the paper. Um, often after you've read the other papers, you get some ideas about how to change your own paper. So record these here and then use them to complete your revision plan and submit it just like any other response. I'll go ahead and click on the self-review. So you can see how it comes up here and you see this is my paper that I wrote um, and I'm get, basically going to answer the same questions and maybe add any new ideas down here that I have. So that's how all that works. Now in another video we'll look at how to access peer responses and um, peer instructor feedback so that once the feedback date is passed you can look back at all of this stuff and um, complete. But this should at least get you started for your draft and your peer response assignments in modules 2 and 3, 6 and 7, and 9 and 10. Good luck and as always if you're having difficulty contact Cengage support for help. Thanks very much for watching.